God's Holy Fire International Ministry bring you greetings in the name of the Lord. Let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, let your servant step down that you step in. Let your word go forth unhindered, unchecked by any outside force. Father, we bind the devil on every hand. Now, angels, do what you're assigned to do. Father, charge the atmosphere with your presence. Let miracles, signs, wonders take place on this telecast. Touch somebody's heart, they will be inspired. Oh, Father, we thank you that someone will be saved on this day. Father, we ask all these blessings. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen, amen. Well, good afternoon, everybody. This is Apostle Andrew Cox. God told me to that's your ministry. Live from the death of the Apostle, a time of empowerment. My God, we have a great a great sermon today, a great thing today. Glory to God. It's going to be powerful. It's going to be impactful. I pray you get your, your pencils, your papers ready. Take some good gospel notes because we get ready to do the assignment of the kingdom. Amen. Amen. We're coming from today. We're coming from Luke 137 and also Philippians 413. Once again, here's the scriptures. Luke 137 and Philippians 413. Our theme is today. God can do anything. Mm. Mm -hmm. God can do anything. I don't know about you, but that is powerful to me. God can do anything. So, oh God, could you just read that first verse for us, please? Yes, sir. Thank you. It says, and for with God, nothing shall be impossible. Could you read that one more time, please? For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Praise God. Today, our theme is God can do anything. So we're going to come from our, our second scripture in a little while, but let's get into it. The Bible says in Luke 137, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. In this season, glory to God, there is nothing impossible when you walk by faith. There is nothing impossible without God. I'm telling you, when you walk in with God in this season, I don't care what it looks like, the impossible will become possible. Somebody say that with me. The impossible will become possible. The impossible will become possible. No, you didn't say it like you mean. The impossible will become possible. The impossible will yes. become possible. The Bible says, for with God, nothing should be impossible. And today we're talking about God can do anything. So how many know that if God can do anything, then we have no problems. Glory to God. Then we have nothing to free about. We have nothing to fret. We have nothing to get upset about. Glory to God. Some of you all need to listen to the man of God on today. We're fighting principalities and powers. Yes, we are. We're fighting strongholds. We're fighting all these spirits, these evil spirits that's coming against our families, coming against our health, coming against our wealth, coming against our posterity, coming against the things that we believe. Glory to God. Coming against the society. But guess what? I'm here to serve the devil. Notice on this afternoon that for with God, nothing shall be impossible. You got to understand, men and women of God, that you're not fighting against the flesh. You're not fighting against a human person. You're fighting against a spirit. But you have to be equipped in this season because you have to know, child of God, nothing shall be impossible. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. You didn't hear what I said. That's a, that's a, that's a phrase. That's a statement. That's a verse that you should coin on your wall. You, didn't hear me. you should coin this on your wall. You should pin this on your heart with a pendant. You yes, should learn yes. this scripture. Oh, yes. You should learn this word. You should stand on this word. My God, you should go to bed with this word. You should meditate with this word. You should declare this word. Come on. You should prophesy this word. You should speak this word into existence. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Yes, God yes. can do anything. This is a combination that if I got God on my side, no one can stop me. You didn't hear me. No one can yes, block Jesus. me. I don't care if they try to put their mouth on you. I don't care if they try to set up roadblock. Come on. Pitfalls, traps. Come on here. I don't Jesus. care what they try. They try to sabotage you. They try to destroy your name. They try to destroy your character. They try to destroy your credibility. You didn't hear me. But the Bible said, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. You didn't hear what I said. For Wait, with God, that. nothing shall be impossible. So guess what? The creditors can't stop you. Come on here. Praise My God. God. Racism can't stop you. Come on here. Jesus. Your qualification of a job can't stop you. Glory to God. That can't no one stop you. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. If you're trying to do anything for God, the enemy can't stop you. He might try to block you. He might try to hinder you. But did you hear what the word of God said? Nothing for with God. Nothing. You didn't hear what I said. For with mm -hmm. God. I'm going to say it again because some of y'all get a little slow here and there. You got to get the wax out of your, the spiritual oh, wax. Yeah. You got to get the spiritual cataracts out of your eyes so you can see the word of God. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. I'm talking to you. There's been bad mouth 
prophet. I'm talking to you that's been making an excuse. I'm talking to you that's been talking about the devil is on my back. I'm talking to you. But see, the only reason the devil is on your back because you got the devil's stuff. I'm going here today, woman of God. You didn't hear what I just said because some of y'all got caught. Only reason the devil is on your back because you got his stuff. When you are partnered with the enemy, he has a right to torment you. You didn't hear what I said? When you partner with the enemy, he has a right to torment you. He has a right when you playing with his goods, you playing with his stuff, you playing with his toys. You didn't hear what I said? Y'all so quiet. When you playing with his thing, when you working with the enemy, he has a yes. right to torment you. He has a right to block you. He has a right to hinder you. When you play with his thing, and you know what I'm talking about. You got his attitude. Come on here. You got his work. You got his cuss words. You got his doubt. Come on. You got his unbelief. You got his fear. You got his intimidation. Come on here. You got his rejection. You got his loneliness. Come on here. You got his slowfulness. Come on. You got his laziness. You ain't going to talk to him. But the Bible said, you say, I'm, you need to change partners. Somebody say, I need to change partners. I need to change partners. I'm talking to you at Facebook. You need to change partners today. If you got the enemy stuff, don't get upset when he's tormenting you, when he's smacking you around. But when you got the word of God, someone say, I got the word of God. Y'all ain't talking like you need. You got Jesus. to say, I got the word of God. But when you got the word of God, you can stand on Luke 137. For with God, nothing shall be part. You didn't hear what I said. For with God, nothing shall be part. So when you got God on your side, who can stand against you? My God, when you got God on your side, I don't care how tough the crisis is. When you got God on your side, you should be not concerned about this pandemic. You should know that God is going to protect you. Come on here. You should know. Come on here. Jesus, now, let me help some Jesus. of y'all today. Don't try Hallelujah. God Hallelujah. and don't test God. But when you know you got God, you ain't got to be afraid of cancer. Mm. Come on. When you know you got God, you ain't got to be afraid of sugar that be it. When you know you got God, you know you're going through a test. Huh? You're going through a trial. But you know, at the end of the test, at the end of the trial, you're going to come through that thing like pure gold. How I wish I had some help here. My God, God, if the witch come against you, they try to put a witch dust on. They try to put dust on your door. You didn't hear what I said. They try to put that hooba gooba deuce, whatever they try to put on your door, whatever they try to curse you with. Guess what? That won't stop you. You didn't hear what I said. Because the Bible said, no weapon. Come on here. It might be formed, but guess what? It won't prosper. I'm here to serve notice to the devil. Then guess what? God is on our side. For with God, nothing shall what? Be impossible. I wish I had some help here today. For with God, nothing Jesus, shall be impossible. Jesus, the Bible Jesus. said that my son, you got to know, child again, you're going to be going through some situation. But guess what? The good news is that you're going to overcome. You're going to come out of this thing. My God, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. So guess what? You're saying, preacher, that I can't be stopped. That's what I'm saying. When you're yes. in the right relationship with God, you didn't hear me. When you're in a relationship with God, when you're in right standing with God, when you're standing on his word, when you're preaching yes. his word, when you're yes. proclaiming yes. his word, when you're declaring yes. his word, Jesus. when you're decreeing his word, when you're speaking life over your body, you're speaking life over your family, you're speaking life over your finances. My God, when you come into a constitution of the word of God, when you come in divine alignment, mm. glory mm. to God, when you come in divine order, my All God, right. I'm a, when you come in divine, divine set time, when you come into the Bible, the Bible says that God can do all things. God can do all things. You didn't hear me? When you understand that who you are in God, when you understand that you are chosen from God, when you understand that God has set you apart, when you understand this child of God, that God yes, has made you a Jesus. world preacher, a peculiar people, to show yes, forth the praise yes. and to, to bring out a darkness and bring it to Messiah. When you understand that God is with oh, you, when God. you understand that nobody can stop you, when you understand that you got angels on your side, when you understand there's a wall of protection, when you understand you got the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, when you understand you got the helmet of salvation, which is the spirit of God, when you understand you got your feet prepared mm -hmm. in the prayer, the preparation of God's so peace, when you understand, my God, you got the shield of faith, when you understand you put on a whole, y'all ain't gonna go here with me, when you understand men and women of God, that you got the whole arm of God, which is the word of God, you can stand against the tricks of the devil, you can stand against the wild, you can stand against the things of the enemy, you can stand against anything that comes against you, but you got to know according to Luke 1, 37, the Bible says, for with God, nothing shall be impossible, the Bible said in Matthew 19, 26, it said, with God I must, the Bible said, with Matthew 19, 26, it said, cast out belief, all things are possible to him that believe, you didn't hear what I said, all things are possible to him that believe, so guess what, let's take, let's, let's take the excuses off. Let's oh, take the God. mask off. The mm -hmm. Bible said it's possible, but do you believe it's possible? Do you Jesus. believe you can? Do you believe that God can turn it around? Do you believe that God can heal you? Do you believe that God can deliver your lover? Do you believe that God can deliver your children off of drugs and alcohol? Do you believe that God can deliver you from the pandemic? Yes, do you Jesus. believe that God can protect you? Do you believe that God can keep the enemy off your back? Do you believe that God will, will, will heal you? Will you believe that God that can deliver you? The Bible says, for with God, nothing shall be. So you said to me, if I'm trying to start a business. Come on here. And up, oh, it's not impossible. No, it's not. Yes. It's impossible if you don't believe it. Yes. But it's possible yes. with God. Every 
everything you need to do is possible with God. Somebody say, it's possible. My it's God, possible. it's possible. The Bible said God can do anything. Do you believe that God can raise the dead? Come on. Do you believe that God, you didn't yes. hear what I said. Do you believe that Jesus. God can heal a blind body, a blind man? Do you believe that God can raise it? Do you believe that God can raise Lazarus from the dead? Do you believe that God right, can raise right. you from the dead? I'm not talking about you naturally dead. He, he going to raise your natural death and your spiritual death. Because some of y'all watching me by Facebook, you're spiritually dead. You're yelling about shut. Your battery is dead. Come on here. You dead in the spirit. You dead in your faith. You dead in your hope. Come on. You dead in your trust. You dead in your belief. But I come to waking you up today. I come to challenge you, men and women of God. The Bible said in Philippians 4, it said, I can do all things. Man, y'all gonna make me preach this thing. It's getting a little hot up in here. I can do all things. You didn't hear what I said. I can do. Come on, somebody say, I can do all things yes. through Christ, yes. through the anointed one. And as an anointed one, we're strengthened. You didn't hear what I said. I can do. Y'all gonna make me preach this thing. I'm trying to teach it, but y'all gonna make me preach. I can do. Somebody say that with me. I can do. Come on here. You gotta say it. I can do. You gotta say it three times. I can do it. I can do it. I can do all things through. I can do all things. Yes, I'm gonna go ahead and preach. I ain't gonna wait on y'all. I can do all things. Things through Christ, uh, which strengthen me, strengthen me in what, strengthen me in my faith, uh, strengthen me in my belief, uh, strengthen me in my trust. Uh, I believe God. Uh, I know that God can do. It. I believe that God can heal my body. I believe that God can deliver my children. I believe God. I can do it. Uh, I can do it through Christ. I believe that God can turn it around. Uh, whatever mistakes I made, I believe that God can redeem me. I believe that God can resurrect me. That I can do all things. Uh, whatever I made a mistake in. Mm. Whatever I lost something in, but I believe I can do it again. And I don't care every times you've been married. I don't care every times you've been frustrated, but I can do all things. Come on. Somebody say, yes. with me, I can do Jesus. all things through Jesus. Christ. I can do all things through the anointed one. And it's an anointing. We're strengthening me. I can do it not in my own strength. Because the Bible says, it's not by might. Come on here. It's not by power, but it's by my spirit. Say the Lord of all. You can do this thing because God can do anything. God can heal leprosy. Come on. God can heal cancer. I don't care if he's in the stage four. God can heal heal it, God can deliver it. God can heal your breast cancer. God can heal your leukemia. You didn't hear what I said. God yes, can deliver Jesus. your crack. God can bring you out of prison. If you got a death sentence for 50 years, God can bring you out. There's nothing that God can do. God can do anything. God can give you a business. God can give you a brand new home. My, you can, your credit can be messed up. It can be messed up from a shot to a track, but God can do anything. Mm. There's nothing that God can If he can give Abraham a baby at 100 years old, you didn't hear what? If Sarah Womb was dead at 90 and God can fill her womb. Come on here. If God can put a, if God can put his spirit in Mary, who was a virgin, come on, talk to me. In Luke 1, what can not God do for you? You didn't hear what I said. There is nothing that God cannot do. My God of Osiah, if God of Osiah, if God can stop hand of Osiah, my God, God can send down fire from heaven. My God can feed 5,000 men, women, and children. What can God not do? My God, if God can deliver Osiah, if he can deliver a nation, my God, he can deliver a nation by the swear of his hand. What can God not do? You, what, what is going on in your life right now? I'm talking to you, you, and you. What's going on in your life right now that you don't believe God can do? And maybe it's not that God can't do. He can't work through you because you don't believe it. Mm. Mm. Y'all got quiet right there. All right. It's not that God can't do it. Maybe he can't do it through you because you don't believe that God is working in you. God can do anything. See, he is limited by your faith. He's limited by your belief. I'm talking to you, man. I'm getting close to you now. I'm talking mm -hmm. to you. He can't do it because if you don't believe him. You see, if, see, because you don't believe that God can work through you, and but you want somebody else to do it for you. Child of God, you got to learn this Bible. You got to open up the book and believe the word of God. You can't just say it because you're trying to impress people. You got to believe that I'm talking better than you said it. You got to believe this thing. You got to believe the word of God. You got to stand on it. You got to know for surety. That is the truth. But guess what? I'm going here. You stand on things in the world. You believe what the world said. Come on here. Right. If the world tell you that stimulus check coming, you believe it. Oh, glory mm -hmm. to God. Did you consult with God? Did you get your answer from God? Or did you get your answer from the media? Come on here. My God. We believe it. We believe what the weather man say. It's going to rain. Guess what? You dress appropriate. Come on. Can I get a witness here? Can I get a witness? You know it's the truth. Y'all so quiet. You believe what the weather man tell you and what the weather woman tell you. You go put up. You put it. You get your poncho and put it in your back seat of your car. Come on here. You get your, you know, you get your umbrellas out and all that good stuff. You believe what the weather yes. tell you and you, you change and then you find out it didn't rain all day. Glory to God. Then they tell you the rain is the rain move. They won't come until Thursday. But must, but see, look what you believe. Come on here. But do you do you believe that God can do anything? Mm -hmm. See, y'all, some of y'all might be laughing and think it's fun, but it's the truth. You believe mm -hmm. what people tell you instead of believing what the Word of God. And the Word of God, and these people didn't die for you. 
Come on here. They didn't die for you. Come on here. They didn't sacrifice their life for you. But you put your faith in that. You put your faith in trust in You put your faith in trust what people tell you on the telephone. You put your faith in trust what the bill collectors tell you. You put your faith in what the creditors tell you. You put your faith in, but you don't put your faith in God. You don't believe more in God. You believe more in the world. You believe more in what the people tell you. And then I know I'm saying something. Amen. I should get a lot of hollers out there. I should get a lot of people sitting, sub texting something on Facebook because y'all know it's the truth. You believe more in what you see and what you believe. You be in more in what the world tell you and what God mm -hmm. tell you because you've been programmed by the world to fail. You've been programmed by the world to be deceptive. You've been programmed by the world to be a manipulator. You've been programmed by the world to not succeed. You've been programmed by the world to stay in bond. You've been programmed by the world to stay in life. You've been programmed by the world to suffer. You've been programmed by the world to be sick. You've been programmed by the world to be defeated. You've been programmed by the world that you don't never see any progress. You've been programmed by the world to live in confinement. You've been programmed by the world to live restricted. You've been programmed by the world to be failures. You've been programmed by the world to be a number. You've been programmed by the world to be a statistic. You've been programmed by the world to be another that you're going to fall on the sickness of this coronavirus. You've been programmed by the world to do the things that the world has equipped you to do. But now I'm here to tell you that the devil's like, we're going to break that cycle. We're going to break that curse. My God, because God can do anything. I wish I had some believers out there and say, Apostle God, I believe that God can do anything. And do you believe that God can use you to raise the dead? Do you believe that God can use you to walk on the wall? Do you believe that God can cause you to start a business, my God, and become a successful business uh, as a Fortune 5? Do you believe that God can start use you to start a car? Do you believe that God can use you? Will you open up your mindset, men and women of God? Will you open up your mind and stop doing it the old way? You still trying to go back to the brick and mortar. We're not going back that way. I'm trying to keep telling you. That, come on, Kyle. Can we talk for a minute? Can we prophesy for a minute? Can we declare the word of the Lord? You all sit up here letting the world tell you to go back to the builders of the church. Let me tell you something. This pandemic is real. It's about to spread. They're going to let people go back and play basketball. They're going to let people go to football games. Don't you understand? It? This is a trap door for the enemy. This is a trap door to kill you all. This is a trap door to have you a statistic, to have you a number. See, this is a trap door. Don't you understand, me, Mon God? Don't you, don't you prepare? Aren't you preparing yourself? You want to go back to the house of God to run around and shop? Don't, don't you know this is a trap door? Because you know people are not going to follow instructions. They're not even wearing their mask right now when they go to the marketplace. They're not wearing their mask. They were not putting on their gloves. Everybody walking around here, the majority of the, the majority of the world is walking with the unmasked. The majority of the world is not being covered. The majority of the world don't follow instruction. The majority, and it's not the world, it's the church. It's the preachers, it's the believers who's supposed to be wearing their masks. They not wearing because they talk about your remember I promised this to you two months ago. I said that you all want when it get warm outside, you weren't gonna wear your mask. You weren't gonna put your gloves on, you're gonna walk carefree. You was gonna sit around here and be around people coughing and sitting there. You was not going, you was just gonna think because they give you the green light, it's okay. What did God give you the green light? What did God say? Did God tell you? Did you consult God? Did you pray? did you stop giving? Have you stopped paying your tithes? Have you stopped sowing your seed? Have you stopped building your altar because they open up the doors because they're telling you now you can go back to work, you can get out of restriction and come out. Have you forgot about God? Yes, you have. You know you forgot about God. You turned your back on God. You walked away from God. Where's your money? Where's your altar being built? Come on, God can do anything. Why did you forget about God when you, when you couldn't come outside? All you could do was pray. But now, how many times are you praying? How many times are you seeking God? How many times are you giving an offering? How many times are you being faithful? How many times are you being consistent? How many times are you being committed to God? How many times are you listening to your angel? Are you obedient? Are you lining up to the word of God? But you know what you want to do? You want to gossip. You want to be back. Right? You want to put your mouth on people. But when you, you understand, when you're the sword come to your house. Oh, y'all got quiet. Jesus. When the sword of the word of the Lord come to your house. You building up your house. What about God's house? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What about Haggai 1 when you build the Lord's house first? Mm -hmm. What about what about you? You building up your house. What about God? Come on, y'all got quiet. Yeah, God can do anything, God. God. but only reason God is doing anything because He followed His covenant. God is following His blood. He's following His word. Is the word working in your life? I, I can see some y'all now. Y'all out here doing everything under the sun. <laughs> what about the covenant with God? Come on, come on. Jeez. What about the covenant? Y'all ain't going to talk to me now. My God, I'm my son. What about the covenant with God? Are you still doing the covenant? Are you still laying your sacrifice? Are you still placing your altar down? Come on. Are you still putting your money on the altar? Come on here. But you want to sit up here and go by all these things. What about the altar of God? Come on, somebody help me here. What about the altar of God? I'm talking to you on Facebook. What about the altar of God? Where is your altar? Where your treasure is? There your money is. Where your altar? Are you building your altar? Yes. Yeah, are you still building your altar? Did you sit up here murmuring? 
arguing, you complaining, you backbiting, but where's your altar? What are you putting on the altar? You know, whatever, is there stones on your altar? Is there rebellion on your altar? Is there unforgiveness on your altar? Is there rejection on your altar? Is there disobedience on your altar? What's on your altar? When God look at your altar, I'm, I'm, I'm a son, we going back, I'm a prophet of God. Now that most, say everyone will call themselves a prophet out here. You lying prophets, you sit up here, you Jezebel, you stubborn, you wild ass donkeys, you sit up here saying you walking with God, but you leading the people down the wrong path. You have no character. You're not walking in integrity. You're not standing on the word of God. You're not telling people the truth, but you want to sit up here because you got an envy. You jealous because nobody got time for you. You jealous. You got a callous heart. But it's time, woman of God, and God, it's time to get right. It's time to stand up and tell the truth and say what thus said the Lord. It's where the Jeremiah's, where the weeping prophet, where the Elijah calling down fire, where the men and women of God that's calling down with fire, with thunder. Where's the church? Where's the church of Jesus Christ? Preaching the truth with fire and bristle. Preaching the message of the king. Telling you get right. We need to get right. We need to get ourselves together. We need to get in order. Where's the apostle telling you to get your church in order? Where's the apostle telling you to get out? We sit up here, want to prophesy, want to proclaim the good news here, and we're not living worth a healer being. We're not declaring that. We're not living. Where's the altar? Where's your offering it on your altar? Where's the word? God can't do anything. You know why God not doing nothing in your life? Because you're not being honest with God. You're not doing with the holy thing. You'll get your hand and some dirty stuff. The Bible says in Isaiah 52, touch not, depart you, depart you, touch no unclean thing that bear the result. What are you touching that's not clean? What are you touching that's not clean? What's touch? Where is your heart put? What's going to be out of your mouth? You say you love God, but what's in your heart? Come on. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. God can do anything. God sees you. God knows you. God knows the Messiah. He knows. We have compromised, church. We have compromised with the world. We have compromised. But it's time to get right, that Messiah. And I'm here to tell you today, if you hard, hold on to the ark of God. Hold on to the heart. Hold on to the horns of God. God can do anything. Yes, this is 2020, but God is going to raise up his people. My God, you didn't hear me. He's got a remnant. Glory to God. He's got a people. My God. The church don't want to go through nothing, woman of God. They don't want to go through no persecution. They don't want to go through no trial. They don't want to hear the true prophet. They don't want to hear the word of the Lord. They want to do whatever they want to do. They say they don't take all this. They say, you know, we we preaching doom and gloom. Well, guess what? That was shy. Michael said the same thing. The prophet Michael went to the king. He said the man of God don't say no good thing. But guess what? You want somebody to tell you everything is at peace. Well, guess what? The statistics tell you they say it's gonna be 60 million you that's gonna be infected with the virus. What are you gonna do? The statistics say it's gonna be 60 million you. You're gonna drop down. You're gonna have the virus. You're gonna be committed. You're gonna be connected with the coronavirus. But are you listening? Are you preparing yourself? You know you're not living right. You know you ain't been obedient. You know it's by the grace of God. You know it's by the hand of God. You know it's by somebody praying for you. You know it's by somebody's son. You know somebody praying for you. You know you ain't been giving God your all. You know you've been putting your mouth in. You know you're operating as a Jezebel. You know you operate as a witch. You know you operate as a false power. You know you've been wrong. You know you've been prophesying on people. You know you've been speaking evil on me. You know you've been putting your mouth on people. But you sit here and God is giving you mercy and God is giving you grace because somebody is standing here is putting money on the altar for your soul. Mm, Jesus, Jesus. For the salvation of your soul. Mm, 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 mm. And you sit here and your righteous indignation, and you want to be angry with the apostle God, because the apostle God said, it's not you that I'm mad, it's not you that's angry, it's that demon that sent you. Oh, Rabbi Shanta, I'm here today to warn you. God can do anything, but he can't work to a rebellious heart. All right. He can't work to a stubborn heart. Mm -hmm. He can't work to a disobedient heart. But today I come to tell you, God can do anything. He can do it. That was right. I'm, I'm here to tell you, when the world tells you no, God says yes. Hey, that was son, that was son. You're the most son, that was God. Yeah, but I feel God. I sense God. My God, you know I'm getting stronger because they're the most son. When the enemy tried to kill me, but my seeds, come on here. My seeds kept me alive. You didn't hear me? My seeds kept me prepared for such a time as this. My God, that was son, that was son. Some of you all wonder why you're in a confusion. It's been a confusion because you won't take your seed and give it to the hands of the Lord and let him work with it. My God, we've been prophesying to you, telling you, get yourself prepared for the stock market and get yourself get prepared 
prepare for evil. We told you to get an investment. What did you do? Did you prepare yourself? Did you listen to the heat of the Lord? We told you to upgrade in your telephone because your phone and your computer is your new million dollars. It's your new million dollar strategy. We've been telling you to get yourself positioned for the new increase by God for technology. But you won't get prepared for technology. You want to manipulate. I'm, I'm sending the word to you, manipulate. You taking advantage of people. My God, you overthrowing people. You taking advantage of people and thinking God don't see you. Let me tell you something. God sees and God knows and God will judge you. The Bible said, touch not my anointing and do my servant, my prophet no harm. The Bible said, bless those that bless thee. And God said, I'll curse those that curse thee. If you've been taking people money and you've been doing stuff illegal, I send a word to you. You're going to be judged by the Bible. If you don't repent, the Bible says, suffer no wish to live, but give my space to repent. If you don't repent and get right and you know what, don't just go repent to God. You got to apologize. You got to repent to the person that you hurt. You got to tell the truth. You are a liar in the pits of hell. You are a liar and the truth is not in you. You are your devil, the father of love. We need to call a snake a snake, a spade a spade, a demon a demon. It's time that you got to know that God can do anything. Yes, he can do anything, but can he do anything through you? Through you. But can God work through you today? I wish I had some help. I'm about shut down. Can God do anything through you today? The Bible says, I can do all things through Christ. I can't do all things in my own flesh. Mm -hmm. I can't do all things in my own spirit. Yes. Because you can't trust your own spirit. Because your own spirit has not been delivered. Your own spirit has not been renewed. Today, God says, I can do anything. Can he do anything through you? Ask yourself, are you seeing miracles in your life? Mm. Are you seeing signs in your life? You profess in the name of Jesus. You profess in the name of Jesus. What's going on in your life? Is miracles taking place? Is bodies being healed? People being delivered? What's going on in your life? If you still hurting, you still being bound, that means you still you still living a life of in bondage and change. My God, when are you going to get tired of being in bondage? When are you going to step out and trust God and surrender God? I'm talking to some of y'all because some of y'all know you've been watching me day to day and you still stubborn. you still rebellion and you still won't surrender. You still won't, you won't, but, but guess what? When the Bible, when the day comes, the Lord going to say, you was warned, you was warned by my servant. Hallelujah, I'm going to tell you the truth because I love you. My God, some of y'all need to be corrected. You got the wrong teaching. You seeing this thing wrong. Your, your ideology, the devil is leading you down the wrong path. He don't want you to hear the truth. He makes he wants you to have that Amalek spirit where you can tune the person out of this ministry. You didn't hear what I said. He wants you to operate that Amalek spirit or that Jezebite spirit. Come on. Or that Kothite spirit or that Hittite spirit or that Hivite spirit. I'm preaching, I'm preaching the word of God. My God because I can hear the Lord say, preach sir. Teach the word of God the truth because guess what? Yes, God can do anything but can he do anything through you? Can he do it through you? Where is your yes. faith in closing today? <laughs> do you have McDonald's faith? Mm. Lord Jesus. Burger King faith? You McDonald's says, we got the best french fries. Mm. Burger King says, we can do it. We can have it our way. Oh, glory to God. Which one do you have? McDonald's or Burger King faith? Or do you have Wendy's faith? Oh, glory to God. Or do you have, do you have Popeye's faith? Which one are you? Do you have Kentucky Fried Chicken faith? Which one are you? <laughs> Where your faith at today? Where your trust in God at? Do you believe God can do anything? God can do anything. Do you believe it? Do you believe God? <laughs> See, some of y'all talk about, Pastor, I believe God can get me out of this situation. Then why you don't trust him? You believe God can deliver you? Then why you complain? You believe God is, can bless you? Then why are you, why you not hoping? Why you, why you, why you fainting? Come on, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. You believe God can deliver your family members? Then why, why you sit up here panicking? Oh my God. See, you going contrary to everything you saying to me. Because I hear you in the spirit. I believe, Apostle. You believe God can do your job? Then why you talking about? I don't know if I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. What do you mean you don't know what you're gonna do? You are gonna trust God? Go ahead, boss. See, do you see? Teach, do you know how many people are watching by Facebook got operated in the spirit of fear? You know how many people are walking around saying they love God that don't believe what they talk about? Do you know how many people believe that they, they say they're with God and this pandemic hit and they still afraid? Do you know how many people believe God and still can't sleep at night? Do you know people that say they can they believe God can do anything? My God, they don't trust God with their resources. Oh, I'm going here. Do you believe God? Do you know people believe God that they say they put God first and they know they don't because they put God last after they pay their bills? Mm. 
Do you believe God say they, they, they trust God, but when they start to sow a seed, they sow the minimum, they sow the smallest seed that they can ever sow? Do you believe, do you believe people who believe God? That they say they believe God can do anything? Mm. Did they doubt him? Oh, they don't God. trust him? They get oh, weary and going through the test. They get weary going through the endurance. But have you been through endurance for 40 years, for 400 years? But you know what? The reason why we're going through a lot of these things is because we walked down the wrong path. We made our own decisions. God didn't ever tell you to do the things that you did. You chose. I chose to do those things. We chose not to wait on God. We chose to get in a hurry. Y'all, I'm talking better. You said, we chose this, my God. We chose it. But now that you got, because, see, you got yourself in that debt. You got yourself in that situation. But now you mad at God because he won't snap his finger and get you out when you want him to get you out. You ain't a God. Ain't your gypsy. He ain't your genie. Today, you got to trust God. I love you, but I'm going to tell you the truth. Today, men of God, you better build your altar. I'm closing with Haggai 1 5. I'm closing with it because God can do anything. Build, build the house of the Lord first. You try to build your house, don't forget about God's house. Because God, He wakes you up every day. All of us on this telecast, we need to repent. Because God gives us always the activity of our limbs, and we take that for granted. You know I'm telling mm -hmm. you the truth. Mm -hmm. God give everyone that's the activity on there and we six feet up, we six feet above water, above the ground. Do you do you thank God for everything He's given you? Or do you murmur and complain because you want things right now? Are you thanking God for your eyes? Are you thanking God for your ears? Are you thanking God for your mouth, for your nostrils? Are you thanking God that you ain't got two nostrils on your face? Are you thanking God? And some of you all are not satisfied with God because you're changing your body parts that good with God because you said God ain't enough. It's not. He didn't make you good enough. Come on here. That's a smack in God's face because you saying what God made is not good enough, so you want to rearrange it and change it. You want to cut on your body. You want to put all these pictures on your body. Oh, come on. I'm talking to you, you and you. You want, you want, to, show, you want to show your rebellion, your defiance to God. That you say you love God, but you every day you showing a defiance to him because every time he's leading you to do something, you won't do it. You won't tell him, you won't surrender God, you won't surrender your mouth, you won't surrender your life, you want to sit up here and you live in a double life and you're hiding like God don't see you. Oh, glory to God. But then you sit up here and you weep and you cry, Lord, I'm sorry. How many times you going to say that sad excuse? Oh, glory to God, it's true. God can do anything. I love you today. Yes, God can do anything, but can he do anything through you? Mm. Apostles, prophets. Oh my God. I'm closing with this. Pastors, evangelists, pastors, teachers, bishops, elders, leaders. Since God can do anything through you, can, you say God can do anything. So why are you in a hurry to get your building on? The same God that's doing it in the building. Is it the yes. same God? Is it the same God can do it on the social media stations? Oh, come on. Mm. Y'all missed that. The same God that you want to praise and worship in a building with the heaven be. Is it the same God that you can do it through the studio? Is it, is it the same God you can do it through the social media? Come on. Can I get a witness here? Isn't he the same God? Mm. The same God? Isn't it the same God that you can do it right now while somebody watching me? That God can hear you right now by listening under the sound of my voice, under the anointing. If you open your heart up and receive my faith, that God can give you a miracle right now. Glory to God. Isn't he saying God? So do we got to wait to get into a building for God to move? Come on. I thought the Bible said we are the church. You're the body of Christ. You're the church. You're the building. But we waiting to get into a building so we can see and we can worship God. Come on here. You Are we forsake? Didn't you? I can hear some of y'all. I got to address it. Well, Apostle, it said don't forsake the assembly. Well, don't we got a assembly of people? Cathering together on Facebook Live. Hello? Don't we have a don't we have a group of people together for walk right now watching each other? So aren't we still in the company of God? He said, any two, three are gathered in my name, I'm in the midst. So what's the difference that you're in the building and you on social media? Then you on a social media station. What's the difference? There is no difference. You just want to get in the building so you can rob these people. You just want to get back in the building so you can make yourself look like you somebody important because you don't want people to see you on social media because you know what you're saying ain't true because it ain't got no substance, because it ain't got no validity. It ain't got no power behind it. So when you're in the building, can't nobody see you. But when you're on television, you're on public.
public. Everybody can see you around the world. We can see if you got the goods. We can see if God has really ordained you, if God has called you, if God has anointed you, if God has empowered you. We can see what the results are when you want to, because then we can see you, you. We can see how much power and how much authority. We can see if you got God, but you want to hide and behind the building. You want to hide behind the cross. You want to hide so people can't see you, so you can rob and rape people. You can talk it, but on national television, when people can see you on the social media, they can see you and they can play your sermon back over and over again. Oh, glory to God. God can do anything. Today, I'll leave you with this. Can God do anything through you? Ask yourself that question. Point to yourself. Can God do anything through me? You know the answer is either yes or is either no. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the audience. I pray for everybody listening. God, I know that you can do anything. Father, you said in your word, there's nothing impossible with you. But with God, nothing should be impossible. God, you said I can do all things through Christ. But strengthen me, Father, strengthen your body today. Strengthen your bride today, God. Strengthen the body of Christ, Father. For those that's watching by Facebook, God, I pray that you would anoint them for this next season. Prepare them, God, for the next move. Prepare them for the next phase. Father, when the devil says no, Father, you are saying yes. Angels work on the behalf of your people today. Angels begin to minister. I, angels, I command you to move ex in an accelerated pace. Angels move quickly, speedily, suddenly. Move according to the speed of life. Angels don't stop until you get the job done, the assignment done. So angels, we command you. We thrust you. We send you forth. We command you. We command you to move by the power of God. We release you. My God, we charge you. We send you forth to do the assignment for the people of God that is in right standing with God. And in Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. And amen. Hey, we love you. We're praying for you. But guess what? Here's the best time of the telecast for those that need to be saved. I'm talking to some of you all. Share this message right now. You need to share right now, right now, right now. You just share this message right now because this is the most important time to, to lead people to Christ. Lead them to salvation. Lead them to the altar. Share it. I dare you. Share it. Share it with your neighbor. Yes, share. I give you three minutes to share this message. Go ahead and go ahead and hit your button. Share with every person. Share. My God. Share the message. Because right now this is the this is the this is the point between life and death. From eternity or here. This is the place right now. This is the, this is the battleground where we're battling for your soul right here, right here, right now. For those who know this message for you, you know that the enemy's been trying to trip you up. You know that the enemy's been coming after you. But this is the message for you. You know you got family members that need you. Won't you stand proxy for them? As, I, as I'm praying for them, calling, when as I pray the salvation prayer, you need to stand proxy and call their name out for them. Glory to God. Stand in the gap for them because right now, this is the day of salvation. Hard not your heart. at the day of provocation when you hear the Lord's voice. Now for those that's ready, won't you just sign of surrender. Lift your hands up and say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. In need of a savior. In need of a savior. This day, God. This day, God. I give you my life. I give you my life. My soul. My soul. My mind. My mind. My body. My body. And spirit. And spirit. Father God. Father God. I renounce. I renounce. Every attachment. Every attachment. With the devil. With the devil. In my life. In my life. From this day forward. From this day. Forward, I ask you. I ask you. To accept me, to accept me, and forgive me, and to forgive me for all my sins, for all my sins, and bring me, and bring me into your kingdom, and bring me into your kingdom. This day, this day, I will ever, I will ever serve you, serve you all my life, all my life, to the best I know how, to the best that I know how. And Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, fill me, fill me with your Holy Spirit, with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, in Jesus, name, I pray. I Amen. Amen. If you prayed that front of a prayer with us, glory to God. You just got out of darkness and you came into the kingdom of God. Somebody give God a glorious shout. Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody give God a shout Jesus. hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank, thank you, God, hallelujah. that you delivered them, God, from the chains of bondage, from the thank chains you. of persecution, the chains of depression, oh the chains of sickness, the chains of a, a personal identity crisis. Lord, we, we thank you, God. 
for daily living and bring him on the side of the righteous. We thank you, God, that their name is forever written in the Lamb's Book of Life. In Jesus' name, we thank God. Hey, why don't you do me a favor? Why don't you do Apostle Cox a favor? Why don't you send us an email at holyfirelorenzo604 at gmail.com. It don't cost you nothing to do it. Just go ahead and type it in, holyfirelorenzo604 at gmail.com. For those that's got those smartphones like we do, glory to God, you can go ahead and speak it in your phone, holyfirelorenzo604, glory to God, mm -hmm. at gmail.com. So don't let the enemy hold you and hinder you, my God. For someone to say, Pastor, I, my hands don't work right. Just speak it in your phone. Just tap your Google button. Glory to God. Speak to it. And it will type it in. Just say, Holy Fire Lorenzo. 604 at gmail.com. Send us a text, send us an email, let us know you got saved, you got born again, and shout about it. Say, I've been born again. Why don't you tell somebody that you just been born again? Glory to God. Jesus. You can't be born out of your mother's womb again, but you're born again in the spirit. Yes, the right. old life has been passed away, and the new life has become. The Bible Praise says, God. if therefore is any man in Christ, he's a new creation. Jesus. The old man has passed away, and behold, all things become new. Glory to God. And guess what? Why don't you do us a favor? Hey, glory. After you send us an email, why don't you send us a, why don't you call us? Call us. Somebody say, call us, call. Here's the phone. Call us, call us, call. Guess what? Call us on that miracle number. Call us, call us. And that miracle number is 708. Glory to God. 551. Mm -hmm. Come on here. 551-8221. Five, five, two, two, yes. Guess what? That Jesus. miracle number is 708. 551-8221. One more time. 708. Glory to God. 551 8221. You'll get to hear Apostle Cox and AJ. You'll get to hear us bombarded heaven on your behalf. Glory to God. We're fighting for you. Glory to God. Giving releasing the word of the Lord to you. Glory to God. Declaring your future. Declaring that your, your days of sadness is over and your days of victory is, is right upon you. Glory to God. So won't you give us a call if that miracle number is 708? Glory to God. Five, I feel so good today. 708. Five five one eight two two one. And guess what? You can even you can read out. You can look at our website. Glory to God. Or email us. Look at our website. I want you to check out this website. Somebody say check it out. Somebody said it with me. Check it out. You need to check it out. Check out the website. You get to see. Check it out our website. You get to see yes, us. Oh, yeah. Guess what? You get to see Apostle Cards. You get to see Lady J. You get to see Elder Robinson. You get to see Evangelist Williams from Teach You get to see Minister Peggy Ella Falcon. You get to see. Uh, you get to see uh, the Assistant Administrator. Glory to God, Sister Tawana Buck. You get to see all. All of us, glory to God. You can see our faces, see what we do, yes, glory to Jesus. God, and all the activities that we have. Guess what? You'll see the, the conference times we have, the services that we have. You'll see everything that we have. If you're mm -hmm. looking for any part, anything you're looking for, ministry, we have it. Come on, talk to me. Son. We got it. We get. We willing to help you in the community. Glory to God. Your children, we got something for you. So somebody, guess what? You can look at the, you can look at the website. Somebody say, look at the website. Let me give you that web website. Let me give you the web address. It's www. For, for, for some of you, for the newcomers, glory to God. For the young crowd, we like to say triple W, glory to God. Triple W, God's Holy Fire, Worldwide Ministry.com. So once again, triple W, come on, G O D S H O L Y F I R E W O R L D W I D E, Ministry, M I N I S T R Y.com. So when you type it in, it's www. God's Holy Fire Worldwide Ministry dot com. All lowercase. Spell it correctly. Glory to God. One more time, because I don't want you to misspell it, because you won't find it. It's www dot g o d s h o l y f i r e w o r l d w i d e Ministry m i n i s t r y dot com. Glory to God. So you type it in www dot God's Holy Fire Worldwide Ministry dot com. Hey, our moderators, I type it everything on the screen. Glory to God. Then you know the times that we have, the service that we have, and guess. What we got t shirts. Come on, somebody say t shirts, t shirts, t shirts. We, we're selling t shirts with yes, God's yes, name yes, on it. Glory yes. with God, with God's holy fire. We sell a t shirt, yes. prophetic t shirt, prophetic affirmations. Glory to God. So, you need to see our t shirt. We got the red t shirt of the month. Glory to God. It's from Joshua 1 9. And we got hats as you can see the God's holy fire hat. It just say God's holy fire. If you wear that hat, I'm telling you, you're gonna be inspired. You didn't hear what I said. If you wear that hat, glory to God, you'll be inspired. It will say God's holy fire. Somebody say that with me. God's holy fire. When you wear the hat, you're going to feel the fire of God. Glory to God. And also we got our book. Come on. The power of thoughts by your Jesus. own, by your own very elect own prophet Lorenzo Carr wrote this book. This is a book for the right now season, the right now time, because it'll tell you how to get your
your mind straight. Somebody say, get my mind straight. Get your mind straight. You need straight. to get your mind straight and get your mind out the ghetto, get your mind off your problem, and get your mind on the word of God. This book, The Power of Thoughts, will change the way you think, change the way you look, change the way you view it, change the way you see it. My God, it will inspire you. It will draw you. It will compel you to want to get closer to the Lord. So it's called The Power of Thought. You can go to Exebris. That's X L I B R. R-I-S-X-L-I-B R-I-S dot com You can see, you can purchase that book from Exebris Publishing dot com Or you can go to Amazon or being Barnes and Noble dot com Glory to God, and guess what? We got a new book coming up called The Kingdom of God is Now Glory to God, at Calling All Prophets If you want to learn how to prophesy, you want to learn how, hey, all that we can do is turn you how to hear his voice, but if you want to learn how to be a prophet you want to get some clarity on your life, you'll be getting ready to read our new book coming up, come on somebody say that with me, Jeez. Calling All Prophets I'm Calling, calling all prophets, all prophets. Yes. rise up and be counted. So we get ready to release that new book. Glory to God. So if you want a copy of that new book, hey, just put your request in. Why don't you submit your request or call us or email us? Let us know. Say, put my name down, Apostle, because I want to be on your mailing list when that new release book come out, and we'll give you an autograph co charge copy. You didn't hear what I said. We'll give you an autograph charge copy, my signature on it, because when you get that book, you'll be charged. You'll be inspired because we want to raise up a prophetic generation. You didn't hear me. Somebody said. We want to raise up a prophetic generation. We want to raise up a prophetic generation. Y'all say, y'all say, a prophetic generation. Somebody say, a prophetic generation. You didn't hear me? A prophetic generation. Not a pathetic generation, but a prophetic generation. A pro somebody say, a prophetic generation. Not a pathetic generation, but a prophetic generation. Because we're going to have you prophesy in you and in your home. You, you, and you. We're going to run the devil out of your life. Come on, somebody. We're going to run the devil out. Glory to God. And guess what? Before we close, if you want to be a Vision 2020 partner, Jesus. Good God in my a Vision 2020 partner. Hey, you want to be a Vision 2020 partner? This is how you can do it. Go to the website. Or oh, everybody say go to the website. www.godsholyfireworldwideministry.com You can be a Vision partner for $37, $77, $107. We're not going to stop there for $107, for $1,007. Come on, $2,007, $5,007. Seven. Glory to God. $10,007. Come on, talk to me. $100,007. Hey, $1,000,007. Hey, glory to God. $5 million. Hey, glory to God. See, you can, see, don't let the number stop you. You can, see, so there's somebody that's going to be watching. You hear me? That's going to give a million dollars and seven. A million dollars and seven. Hey, glory to God. Because the, for the work that we got to do. So look, if you want to be a vision partner, somebody say, I want to be a vision partner. How do I do it? How, you want to be a vision partner? Let me tell you how to do it. You can go to the website, www.god. G O D S H O L Y F I R E W O R D W I D E M I N I S T R Y dot com. You can be a vision party. Go to www God's Holy Fire Worldwide Ministry dot com and you can submit the request and glory to God and you can come on build a board being a vision a vision part we're looking for a thousand partners by the end of 2020 a thousand partners you hear me so guess what i want you to do me a huge favor because i know some of y'all love the way apostle cox be teaching and we be shouting praising god glory to god because see i can't run like i want to but in a little bit i'm gonna be able to run we're gonna shout glory to god hey my god so guess what i want you to do me a favor hey you want to be a part of this why don't you send us your email and you want to be a part of our following. I mm -hmm. send us your email. Glory to God. Send us your email. Send us. You didn't hear what I said. Send us your email. Glory to God. We just gonna keep your email. Hey, we don't do no spooky stuff, no be jimmies with your stuff. Come on, glory to God. We're gonna be praying over you. But send us your email so we can keep you abreast on what's going on. And in closing, the last way, I'm just so excited. Y'all think I probably had something. I'm just excited about Jesus. Glory to God. But guess what? If you've been expired, you've been expired. Why don't you do this? Why don't you sow a seed to this ministry? This ministry is, is a tax exempt organization. We are 501c3 compliant. We are 501c3. So every contribution you give, we'll send you a, a, a letter at the end of the year with every seed you sow, every contribution you have given to the ministry. Hey, we keep every seed. We document every seed. And every seed you sow, we use it for the upbuilding of God's kingdom. Glory to God. So you can do it through these measures. We got Cash Out. We got PayPal. We have Zelle. We have Google Pay, Google Cash, Apple Pay, Apple Cash. And for those that have a bank we have time. Glory to God. And soon to come, we're working on our text to give. So guess what? You can sow your seed through Holy Fire Lorenzo, 604 at gmail.com. Or you can do it through the miracle number, which is 708 551 8221. 708 551 8221. Hey, we love you. We're praying for you. And guess what? So I got a surprise for you, men. 
you men, hey, glory to God. This Tuesday night, somebody say Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. This Tuesday night for men only. It's going to be G, God's holy fire. Hey, God's holy fire, men to men. God's holy fire, men to men, M-E-N, number two sign, M-E-N. God's holy fire, men to men, this Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, 8 p.m. Eastern, glory to God, men to men, with your own host, Apostle of God. We're going to take the mask off men. We're going to be doing it. We're going to be just ministering for a whole hour, just going and reaching situation, getting men to be encouraged, getting men to be inspired, getting men's back for their husband, for their wives, getting men's out of wrong relationships, glory to God. God, get them to the, you're to hear me. We're gonna get some men. You, woman, yes, you hear me? We're gonna get some men know how to pray. We're gonna right. get some men know how to bombard heaven. We're gonna get some, we're gonna teach me how to lead. Come on, lead in the community, lead in their neighborhood, come on, lead on their job. We're gonna teach men leadership, how to take the leading role. Glory to God. Come on, we're gonna mm -hmm. raise the men back up to become leaders in the household, leaders in the community, leaders on their job, leaders in the neighborhood. We're gonna take this thing back because it's called men to men. Glory to God. Y'all didn't hear me. You men should get excited, but guess what? You Need to, you need to email me. Come on. You need to email me. You need to email me. Email me because we got we to gotta email for the men to men, don't we? We got God's holy fire. We got God's holy fire. Men to men. We got email men to men. Men to men at gmail.com. Yes, we got an email at God's Holy Fire, men to men at gmail.com. So you need to email us because glory to God, because we're getting ready to have our first men to men meeting on this Tuesday night. Glory to God. My apostle been doing so much preaching teeth, but guess what? We're going to be doing something with the men this Tuesday, this Tuesday. And guess what? Meet us tonight on our conference line. Because the Apostle Christ has been teaching on angels. Glory to God. Amen. God, so Father, we've been teaching on angels. Amen. We've been seeing the move of God on angels. So guess what? Meet us tonight at 7 p.m. Central. Here's the conference line number, which is 425-436-6318. That's 425-436-6318. And the access code 701-920. That's 701-920 pound. Tonight at 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern, and 5 p.m. Mountain Time. We're talking about angels. You need to meet us there because people are being inspired and people are being changed by using the angels of the Lord on their back. Hey, we love you. Here's my co-host. Praise God. Lady Jace uh, will be teaching on Tuesday night at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Time. Lady Jace speak under the leadership of Apostle Lorenzo Cox. God's holy fire. Hope that I see you there. Hey, God bless you. We love you. We'll see you later on tonight or tomorrow. Be blessed, everybody. Have an awesome day. God bless you. Praise God.